So you have a lot of the modern women today. They just do not appreciate good men, you know, whatsoever. A lot of times these modern women get good men like right here in America. And it's always something wrong with that good man, but let's review it. Sometimes a woman can talk her out of a relationship. You can talk. We, we do that. Yes, we will talk. I, I, our I, uh, I'm going to say something and this mm-hmm. might ruffle little feathers. I don't think just being a good man is enough. She don't believe that being a good man is enough. Okay. That's the, the basis. Now let's hear why she say that be, not being a good man is enough. Okay. Why? To be, to stay in okay. a relationship with them. But when I say a good man, I mean like he's I don't, good all, that means all around. That means himself, spiritually, mentally, physically. That's great. Healthy, like but he's a good man. That doesn't mean that he's the man for you. And right. maybe when you're going through these motions of getting to know him, you're realizing, okay, he's a great person, but honestly, he don't, he, I don't f- with his humor. Like he could be funny. But- wow wow so he's great in every area but i don't i don't mess with his humor and you wonder why you look up and you become 40 years old 45 and you're by yourself i firmly believe since i have been doing this i've seen that most women have had several good men come their way and usually they reject them all for whatever reason on something superficial, like his humor. So, so if he loves you, he's a provider, he's a protector. He wants to build something with you. Listen, no human being is perfect. And I I think people get into that. Like no one is perfect. A man is not perfect whatsoever. It's going to be a flaw in a man. It's going to be a flaw in a woman. No one is perfect. We are human beings. Only one is perfect is God. And if none of us is God, so we're going to have some flaws. You can work with a person on their flaws. As long as their flaws isn't beating on you, using drugs, getting drunk on alcohol every day, every night. You understand? I mean, if it's something not like that, I'm talking about this, but it can be something small that maybe you can work with her or work with him to possibly change. And maybe you can't change certain things to that person. Their personality is what their personality is. But the things that's important, do, do he love you? Okay, check that off. Does he always provide? Okay, do that, check that off. Does he try, does he make sure to protect you in every which way, shape or form because protecting you happens in multiple facets, not just physical protection It's also protecting you mentally. It's also keeping people away from you that could possibly harm you. Even some of your little friends that he may see that's no good for you. You understand? Protecting the children, making sure y'all not in a bad neighborhood or something like that. That's a form of protection. So he, so he's great at doing all that, but he doesn't make you laugh. He doesn't entertain you. I mean, well, man, I mean, he isn't freaking cat Williams. I mean, shoot, not everybody can be Cat Williams. And that's, what, and that's why a lot of modern or, women are getting 40 with, with, with four cats and no f-ing man because he's, maybe that's he's, a like. good, he's a good man, but because he's not I funny, you got to right throw that out. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's stuff that's so superficial. He's not funny. Oh, he don't dress. I, yeah, he a, he a good man, but he don't dress. I don't like the way he dressed. Like, really? You can't maybe, you know, maybe he didn't think about dressing, but maybe you got an eye for fashion. I'm talking about a good fashion for men. Maybe you can say, try to uh, see if he can wear certain outfits or whatever. If it's him and a person that's even, you know, an image consultant, they can take a person's personality and still make it where they feel comfortable wearing something good and, and, and everything for them would also make them look good at the same time, right? What is the problem? But when you get on this superficial things that a lot of modern American women are on, that's why they're not getting men is because the entitlement and being so superficial and not focusing on the character of that man, focusing on what he's actually doing 
No, I I don't like him because he don't dress a certain way. I don't like him because he don't make me laugh like I want to laugh. I don't like him because he don't do this. I don't like him because he do that. And that's why that sister said you'll end up 40 with cats. Buy you a lifetime supply of Meow Mix. Buy it. Because that's what you're going to need with that kind of attitude. Go ahead and buy it. Because you're not going to get no man. Matter of fact, you don't deserve a man. If you're that superficial and, and nitpicky to the point that you're not talking about character flaws, you're talking about little things like laughing and clothes and all that, stay by yourself. And that's just the right. You talk, your, you talk your way out your blessing. Sometimes if you just be quiet and just think before you speak, you'll have a lot more in your life. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what, what this, this sister is saying. This sister trying to school them. But, but they just, they don't get it.